Hello everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to export and publish your videos with ScreenFlow 4. It's not a whole lot to it, just once you're done with your video and ready to export, just go up to here to File, and click on Export, and here's all your different options for exporting your video. First thing up here is to name your video, and then where to save that exported video. Here's your common locations on your computer, some recent places you've saved to, and if those don't suit your needs, just click on Other, and here's your typical finder view to find where you want to save this file. Now there are presets for exporting your videos. Let's click here, and there's a bunch of presets that come with ScreenFlow and you can actually create your own presets to suit your exporting needs. Let's click on lossless here. Now to customize this preset, just click customize, and you can change any of the video and audio settings. Just click on settings for video. You can go through here and change things to suit your needs. Compression type, there's this huge list of all sorts of different compressions common one here being H.264 all sorts of different settings in here you can change there's so many things to do I can't possibly go over everything I can't possibly even understand everything that's going on here it's best to change some of these variables around do some tests and figure out what best suits your needs click OK and hit settings for sound here's your sound settings you can change around and that's about it and click OK and you can manage your presets click manage here's all the system presets that come with ScreenFlow and your custom presets down below here now to add a custom preset just highlight one of the presets that the system uses I recommend using lossless as a starting point and you can either click copy to the right over here or click the plus and click copy preset and it allows you to rename it here let's do testing testing preset then click on edit and you can go through here like I showed you before to change things around if you want to get rid of a preset you don't want it anymore just highlight the preset and click the minus button click OK and now those presets that you created will show up on your list here. Let's see, lossless 2. Another thing down below here is the scale by 100%. Make sure you pay close attention to this. I've seen this show up as 50% when I start exporting. So you want to make sure you have this at 100%. That's the full size of the video, unless you need it smaller, say 75, 50, or 25%. Just be aware of that because it will change the size of your video. Sometimes that happens and you don't realize it's going on until you actually upload it to YouTube and you wonder why your 720 or 1080p sizes aren't available. The other option down here is using motion blur. It's recommended to use this. It gives a bit of a more smooth look to the motion in your videos when you're exporting. And if you uncheck it, it gives a much more crisp look to your motion in your videos then click export and the screen will go dark and you'll see it exporting down here it's progress that's only a 10 second clip that's why it exported so fast and then it goes back to normal when it's done so now there's publishing your videos click on file and you have three options here publish to YouTube Vimeo to flash Flash is just saving a flash version of your video on your hard drive. Publishing the video in YouTube actually export the video and upload it to the site automatically in one step. So let's publish to YouTube. Now you have to log into your Google account, your YouTube account. All right, sign in there, select which account. Let's expand this. It's going to tell you that this application ScreenFlow has the ability to do a few things with your account. Click accept if that's all right with you. 
and you'll have your setup for exporting your video to YouTube. You can select the category, let's say education, you can title, description, tags, just like you're uploading a video on a browser to YouTube and your privacy settings, quality, and a few other options. And then just click publish and it's gonna upload that video to YouTube. All right, that's all there is to exporting and publishing videos with ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.